innovation. Three. This is User Innovation Island, famous as the birthplace of numerous consumer innovations. Chika, Maru, and Ro are first-year students at a university on the island. They are good friends. One day, Maru and Ro spotted Chika walking depressed. What's wrong? They asked. Chika told them that she had taken her product development idea to a masking tape manufacturer, but was rejected. Masking tape? Asked Ro. Yeah, for painting. It's easy to remove, and when you peel it off after painting, all of the areas that it was covering are paint-free, giving clean finish. Chica responded with confidence. Look, isn't it cute? She said as she took from her bag an envelope that she had decorated with masking tapes in three different colors. Whoa, that's super cute! Exclaimed Maru, who was always enthusiastic. Chica continued. There are lots of masking tapes in beautiful colors. They come in different colors so that you won't forget to peel the tape off after you finish painting. But if you try putting them on envelopes, book covers, and walls, you end up with really cute designs. And because it's so easy to remove, if you don't like the result, you just peel the tape off. It's really convenient. I was all set to make a collage, but I realized that tapes in the colors I wanted were not available. So, I went to see the manufacturer to ask them to make tapes in the colors I need. It didn't work though. I didn't get past the receptionist. I was so disappointed. Chica was upset again. Can we do? The three pondered for some time. Then, Ro, who was good at crunching numbers, piped up. I've got an idea. Let's organize an exhibition of various things decorated with masking tape. We can count the number of visitors and show the manufacturer how much people adored them. This may make them consider producing new colors. That's a great idea. Maybe we can sell masking tapes at the exhibition. That way, we can see if they would sell or not," said Maru, expanding on Rose's proposal. Fantastic! Let's do it," said Chica. Now re-energized by the encouraging words of her friends, a month later, their decorate with masking tape exhibition opened. The exhibition was a resounding success. Many girls came and were delighted with the unusual and attractive works. The tapes sold well too. In fact, the tapes were sold out despite being priced three times higher than regular painters' masking tape. Convinced that the manufacturing company would surely meet with them, the three decided to visit Company K. Please just listen to our story. At Company K's reception desk, Chica and her friends were pleading to meet with the person in charge when the man came out. After listening to their pleas, Mr. T agreed to hear their suggestions, saying, "I don't know if I could do anything, but I'm happy to discuss the idea with you." You should develop masking tapes for miscellaneous goods. A lot of people visited our exhibition to see works decorated with tape, and even bought our tapes. We would like you to make masking tapes in greater colors for decorations. Showing slides containing analytical data gathered at the exhibition, Ro gave a presentation to Mr. T, just as a business consultant would. However, to the friend's great disappointment. Mr. T's response was underwhelming. "I'm sorry, but I just don't see the point," he said. "We assess our tape's performance. When you say it's cute, that just isn't convincing. Besides, we're constantly working on ways to reduce costs so that we can offer good products at the most reasonable price possible. You mentioned that our tapes sold at triple the price just by demonstrating new usage." But isn't that like cheating our valued customers? Said Mr. T, sharing his honest feelings with the trio. The three were puzzled. We've got the data, but this person just doesn't seem to get it. What can we do? Chica, who had been silent the whole time, suddenly stood up. 
If you find it hard to understand what we're talking about, why don't you come to our exhibition and see for yourself how excited the visitors are? If that still doesn't convince you, then we'll simply give up. The usually reserved Chica surprised her friends by making her appeal with a strong voice. Okay, let's go see. Overwhelmed by Chica's passion, Mr. T agreed to visit the masking tape exhibition. Will we have as many visitors tomorrow as we did last time? Will they buy our tapes? Chica anxiously tossed and turned all night. The day of the exhibition, Chica, Maru, Ro, and Mr. T watched from a secluded area. As soon as the doors opened, several girls came in. Whoa, this is so cute! Full of curiosity, everyone rushed to look at the displays. Customers continued to pour in, filling the venue with cheerful, bright conversation. The tapes sold out instantly. After witnessing the visitors' happy faces and sparkling eyes, and hearing at first hand the thrilled voices that filled the venue, Mr. T was impressed. He couldn't have imagined the enthusiastic response if he had simply stayed in his office. Chica, I now know what you wanted to tell me. Let's make masking tapes in new colors," said Mr. T, offering her his congratulations. Really? Thank you so much! The three jumped for joy. Company K went on to release the range of products that Chica had suggested, and they became highly successful. The company is now known globally for its masking tape for decorative use. Meanwhile, Chica continues to enjoy decorating her things with masking tape. No doubt influenced by her passion, Maru and Ro are now into masking tape decorative art too. Your tenacity paid off, and we've got a new hobby thanks to you. They told her. Chica made a big smile and answered, "My pleasure. Without you, I would have given up long ago." As they say, friends are all you need. <laughs>